top 3 ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome to the 28th episode of the top 3 ghosts trapped on video series, those who have followed us from the beginning know that we will be covering highly selected material among many videos to get the ranking of the 3 best footages that are absolutely worth talking about for this week. So if you like these themes, you can subscribe to the channel and support us with a like to stay up to date on new releases. So let's start with our ranking towards the third position. The Cursed House In third position this week we find a video shot in a district of Monterrey, capital of the state of Nuevo Leon, in the northeastern part of Mexico. One of the best paranormal investigators in the world, Ricky Velasquez, famous for shooting videos always in live streaming, is inside an abandoned house with two very sad stories behind him, where an eight-year-old boy fell down the stairs and died for the impact to the ground. Following this terrible accident, the family abandoned the house, which was later bought by another family with a daughter. This ten-year-old girl accidentally killed herself one day while playing with her father's gun found in a drawer. Following this misfortune, the family had the room bricked up but the mother afflicted by agony and pain, decided to build her kitchen in the adjacent room because she claimed to hear the voice of the child coming from the wall. But the family decided to leave the house anyway due to the excessive negative energy released in this place. Ricky decided to investigate to understand if the two events are linked by some curse of the place. Muy buenas noches, bienvenidos. La señal en este lugar es algo complicada. Miren, se los voy, se los voy a poner así de sencillo. Me encuentro en una colonia en Monterrey, Nuevo León. Una colonia donde hay internet muy, o sea, la isla señal es muy fuerte. Pero esta casa si la puedo catalogar como una casa con energía, una casa con con una historia triste. Ricky begins the live streaming broadcast explaining that the internet connection could be degraded due to the area in which it is located, because it is a densely populated place. Then, he explains the sad story of the house to his followers, and goes to the kitchen adjacent to the walled-up girl's room. And as he explores the rooms he also shows the stairs where the other sad incident occurred explaining that it is possible to perceive a very negative energy in these rooms. Then he decides to try the spirit box in the open window of the walled room and incredibly something seems to immediately answer his questions. ¿Estás aquí conmigo? Mamá? Oh, mamá, eh? The radio battery completely loses energy, so Ricky replaces it and continues to explore the house, but a sudden drop in temperature and a very negative feeling afflict him. And it is precisely in a bathroom where a dedication written on the glass was left, that Ricky stops to investigate better when something really bizarre happens. In the comments, users report that something strange appears around the corner of the wall, and it seems to be the height of an infant, but Ricky does not notice the presence. Things get stranger and stranger as Ricky tries to ask a question. Si hay algo que pueda hacer por ti, este es el momento. No mames, no mames, no mames. Something seems to be running down the hall behind the bathroom door, and as Ricky opens it to figure out what it was, strange loud noises can be heard coming from the adjoining rooms. And the noises become more and more intense, until you even hear a moan from a female voice.
Ricky also notices a ball present at the beginning of his exploration in a corridor closet that has now disappeared. A really interesting exploration in a place where no one intends to set foot or live there given the strong negative energies that Ricky has touched. Poltergeist on the whole family. The second place in the charts this week is of the YouTuber Shapeshiftification, now inactive for 8 years, who placed 11 years ago, 3 videos about strange phenomena of poltergeists experienced by his family who was woken during the night by noises of furniture, inexplicable thuds, and knocking. Although at first glance it would appear to be a seemingly simple movement of objects that is easily reproducible, if you pay attention to a few details, there seems to be a dark shadow that comes into action on the table and causes the banana to fall. The chair moves and at the same time the banana is rotated and raised by its ends, made to fall and rotated for another time, while the chair is again moved away from the table. In this sequence of images, a sheet of paper moves first from the table onto the chair and then from the chair rises upwards at high speed and then falls to the ground. According to the author, the video was shot inside the house in total absence of wind, in fact no other object in the room emits any oscillation that explains the diversity of air currents that the sheet demonstrates. In this video the author declares, After my daughter experiencing strange noises, tapping, and things moving in her bedroom, she was convinced there was a ghost in there. She had been sleeping on the floor, because she said there was gushes of wind above her bed. Sometimes it is easy to immediately attribute this kind of phenomena to plausible explanations, other times we are led to think that it is trivial mice and scene, but as in this case, how to explain these details? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments, below. The Shadow of the Infiltrator This week's video was extrapolated from dozens of videos posted by Tiffany, an American young mother of four little children's, owner of the YouTube channel Beauty and the Beastons, a channel mainly designed for families where Tiffany shows her daily life made of house cleaning, cooking, family, husband and house care. A channel with very nice and light content, made up of videos that have millions of views. However, about three years ago in 2019 during one of his traditional videos where she prepared the house for the arrival of winter, she captures something truly creepy during the shooting. And two, he was bringing in like all the outdoor toys to put away for the winter because it's already like insanely cold outside so like as Tiffany walks into the hallway of the house explaining that her husband had taken the children's toys out to store them for the winter, a creepy dark shadow appears behind her, apparently dressed in a thick coat. But from the windows and as you can see during the video, the sun shines is a hot day and both her husband and her are wearing short-sleeved summer shirts, so in total contrast with the surrounding environment. Following the numerous reports that her followers have made about this presence in her home, Tiffany declares. Okay, I have a lot of updates to do. Um, it's 4.26 right now. So, I told you I was going to go edit my vlog, and that's what I was doing. And as I'm editing it, I see something really freaking scary behind me. It looks like a shadow, like a black shadow, but like of a man, or it looks like a man. I don't know, I'll put the picture on screen here. Um, 
That is not my jam. I don't even watch scary movies because I'm such a baby. That freaks me out. I will say, like, besides the fact that I'm scared, I kind, like, I don't feel like a bad feeling in my house at all. I feel like my house is like a calm, happy, loving environment. So, like, I don't know. I was really scared when I saw it, but now I'm just like, I'm not scared, but also like that figure was in the boys' room. And I wish that it wasn't in their room of all places to be, but it, I just feel like such a mama bear, like I will protect my kids like, like nobody's business. So I just feel like I dare you to mess with me ghost or whatever you are. I don't know, but that's just not my thing. You won't see me doing a Ouija board, calling any, what are the people called to talk to this over? You're not gonna see any of that because that kind of stuff freaks me out. Therefore, with respect to these statements that seem to be sincere and the video shown to us, we have left a window open to a reasonable doubt about the veracity of what is trapped on the video. Obviously it is always a maybe, because if no investigation can be conducted, it could also be a hoax. Who knows? In the meantime, I thank you for watching, I always give you an appointment next week with a new episode, stay tuned on our social networks and on our channel to know all the updates on our contents, good night.